Well, how long is the devil staying? I don't know, Peggy. He says he's just here to get his license renewed. Just? With his eyesight, that is a license to kill. Uh, he doesn't really want to drive anywhere. He just likes to carry around a license. Makes him feel like he's still in the game. It's kind of like Bill in his comb. All right, well, let me drive you and... I don't need you. Gribble made me a license. Oh, by the way, Gribble, I saw an engine running around your house last night. Uh, now, Dad, you know, your eyesight's going. Hank, and... if the Colonel says he saw an engine, he saw an engine. Now, if this thing don't come soon, we're gonna miss the cockfight. I wish you weren't too old to drive, Grandpa. It's hot out here. Well, when you get on the bus, you can take your pants off. Okay. Bus is missing a step. <sighs> All right, go to the back. I'll lower the platform. Oh, come on. Why don't you just take the old people's van? Come on out of there, Bobby. We're going home. Peg, Uncle Hank, I just heard on the news there's a Santa Claus exhibit at the museum and someone stole his leg. Oh, we can't hang our Christmas stockings this year. It'd be disrespectful. She wants work, Hank. She wants it bad. Oh, feel these muscles. <gasps> Do you have a brother? Because me and Lily are just like sisters. We could double date. Then... I don't have a brother. I gotta go. Uh... I think that's everything with alcohol in it. You have to do something, Hank. I have spent 13 months mothering the Leanne out of Luann, and I will be damned if I'm gonna let that progress pour down the drain like, like this bottle of beer. No one's gonna let that happen, Peggy. I'll drink that. Oh, you stupid, fat, stupid, ugly son of a... Whew. Sounds like they've lost that loving feeling. We need to hire a new accessories associate. What happened to Bob Cecil? Oh, hell, Cecil's gone. Deadbeat dad. If he sets foot back in this state, he'll have to support his daughter. Why, in the Army, you can get in big trouble for harassing a woman, even if you're her superior officer. Yeah, man, I tell you what, you go work with a woman now, man, they're gonna talk about it, and you need a heel, man. They're gonna put, put that in with an old soda pop can, like uh, with an old hair like that. What are we gonna talk about? Our feelings? The answer to your problem is right before your eyes, Hank. It's me. Me. An unattractive white male. Mm hmm, 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 mm hmm. Hey! What are you humming about, Hank? Daughter getting married? Uh, I have a 12-year-old son, sir. But this morning, bright and early, we will be joined by an excellent new man who you are going to love. Well, well. I got a feeling you'll be employed a month again, Hank. Oh, I don't know, sir. Maybe you'll be handing a plaque to this new fella. <laughs> no, the minimum printing order was 50, so I think you're good for another nine months. Vaya con Dios. <sighs> well, Leon does do a lot of vomiting, even for a new employee. Maybe you should give everybody a random drug test. That's what they do down at the Megalomart. Buckley calls them pop whizzes. <laughs> oh, he's so smart. Are you aware that you hired a drug addict? I am now. That's why I fired him. Oh, yeah. You're in trouble, all right. It's against the law to fire this man. He's a drug addict. Twig boy! Pay to the order of the bike barn? A hundred and seventy-five dollars? What's for a new BMX bike? The Tormentor. Like from the movie? Only I don't think this one can shoot grappling hooks. You know, Bobby, they say old Buck Strickland started out with nothing but a single dollar bill. Son, he turned that dollar into a chain of propane stores and the largest collection of ostrich boots in the continental United States. 
What he did with propane was impressive, but he inherited those boots. Son, your first job is a big deal. It can determine what you do with the rest of your life. What was your first job? Well, I was a milk truck driver's helper. It sounds like fun, but it was a lot of hard work. Boy, that job made me feel real good about myself and by the... So, long story short, hard work brings great rewards. Now, let's go to the track. Okay. Go sell some sodas, Tommy. Ah, you spilled all 20 sodas. So, 20 times 1 is 20. You owe me another $20. I tell you, Peggy, we sent a boy off to work today, but I got a feeling they're gonna send us home a man. Oh, I hope it's Jeff Gordon. Mm, yep, you're right, Hank. Bobby's gonna see a lot of things on that racetrack. Gruesome things that can make a child grow up too soon. But, you know, I mean, if it already happened, it doesn't hurt to look. I better get him another camera. Well, we can take off a white version and the radio antenna. Good idea, Bill. That'll make us lighter and more aerodynamic. Yeah, 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 and that windshield ain't doing anything a pair of goggles and a natty scarf can't do. <laughs> you know, maybe now's a good time to run some pit crew drills. Got any other success tips for me? Hmm. Well, here's some advice my dad taught me. Uh, uh no, well, uh... Hey, here's a clean one. Find the job nobody wants, and then do it better. I'll do it. Better. <laughs> You're the go-to guy. Find the job nobody wants. Find the job nobody wants. Worked for me! You sure you put it in neutral, Dale? Check and mate. Damn it, Dale, you put my truck in neutral. But you said that it wasn't my, it was an honest. No, it didn't. <gasps> there goes another one into the wall! Oh, only ten more laps to go. Please, someone else crash. Yes, and then boom, now it gets to drive that pace car. Oh, yes, right, for that reason. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where's my drink, Monkey Daddy? Oh, Monkey Daddy, the back side of your ass! Ah! <laughs> Where's my drink, Monkey Daddy? Oh, Monkey Daddy, the back side of your ass! Here's a drink for you, you mean moron. Jeff Gordon in car number 24 has just passed the pace car. That's an automatic disqualification. You got to learn to resist the bait, kid. Well, still, I'd like to give you a couple hundred dollars. I tell you what, just buy me a couple of pairs of short pants, and we'll call it even. Oh, I should have been there to meet that nurse, but I just couldn't get away. A boy on our field trip brought enough gum for everyone, and that's a situation I just wasn't prepared for. Is that a tattoo? Uh-huh. You like it? Do I like it? Oh, <laughs> oh my. Well, can you understand that I can't understand how you could even ask that question? Not really. <laughs> well, oh, my. You know what the root of the problem is, don't you? Feminism. 
If you ask me, it's high time for a backlash. Heck, the average working woman makes twice what a man does now. Dale, that's just not true. It is in my family. Here's one for practicing C and G. You said you wanted stuff with strong lyrics? Mm-hmm. You see, I do sort of a lyric writing myself. Musings is what they're called. It's a combination of music and sings. Literally musical phrases that sing with insightfulness. Propane at Megalomart? Uh, Bobby, leave the room. You bastards. <sighs> okay, Bobby, you can come back in now. Selling propane is an art, which is something Megalomart knows nothing about. Hey, you are preaching to the preacher's wife here. That motorcycle better not be on my lawn. No! Ugh, my lawn! Oh. Self-service propane. Ugh. Say, I want to thank you guys for continuing to buy your propane from Strickland. And to show you my appreciation, next time you come in, a free spatula on me. Wow, I could use a new spatula. Old one's getting a little rusty. Hank, I am still amazed at how some musings just tumble out of me like a dream, and others have to be forced out like that liquid cheese in a tube. Hey, maybe that's amusing. Or is that too inside? They won't let me back in the beauty academy unless I pay them $300. And I can't make $300 until I'm a rich and famous Hollywood makeup artist. It's such a catch-22. If I say yes to this loan, will you let me get back to work? Oh, Uncle Hank. <laughs> yes, yes. Hank, listen, I got four more branches to think about. Sometimes you got to cut off a finger to save the hand. Not necessarily. Sometimes you bathe the finger in warm water every night. Over time, it'll get better. Bobby told me you got fired from Strickland Propane. Does this mean I'm not getting my loan to help me fulfill the one dream I've ever had? Awake? Yes. yes. Oh, no. I've answered 40 classified ads, and I didn't get a single response. Well, you could send yourself a response. I, I send myself mail all the time. It makes me feel so good and special. You got yourself a good man there, Hank. Uh, what did you just say, Bill? <sighs> it's not worth it. Monsignor Martinez is about to start. Well, vaya con Dios. So, uh, you know something about propane? I was assistant manager at Strickland Propane for 15 years. Huh. I remember being assistant manager. You mostly just get wasted and pretend to be working, right? Excuse me. Can you tell me where to find a clamp? Well, that depends on the clamp. It could be an automotive or hardware or even electronics. What are you using it for? What does it matter what I want to use it for? God, I hate this place. Hey, Luann. Uh, listen, I'm sorry I took that job you wanted, but you have to understand, it wasn't enough for me just sitting around watching the Monsignor on TV and... By the way, did he get those poisoned wafers through customs? <laughs> 